Sorry. Everybody likes RBIs. You know, analytics don't like it. Yeah. I, 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 I got <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Trey Turner's on first base and somebody hits a double. What do you think should happen? If you close your eyes and you're the third base coach, where do you think Trey Turner should be? On a double down the right field line and he's on first. He should be checking the guy on deck. <laughs> Clayton, Kershaw, Clayton Kershaw rips a double down the first base line and Trey Turner's on first. Where do you think Clayton's going to be looking at as he touches first base? A home play. That's right. <laughs> Ribby. In your the, whole career, I did you? The double down the line here. Well, I the off. Got it. <laughs> All right. Was it the right play to go on? Was it right for you to go for two? Okay. <laughs> That's short down there in that corner, isn't it? 3 and I. Man, it hits in that corner in that 415. You don't know what that ball is going to do. We're in that corner and then the. Yeah. Uh, State Farm. Oh, like I know. The edge, you know? Yeah. That ball here could shoot that way or could shoot that way. No doubt. You know? Uh oh. That's deep. Smash that ball. I don't know how this guy do it here all year long with that. Weather? It's cold. Always. Should play more day game here, like Wrigley Field. Yeah. Yeah. It's five o'clock and it's probably what, 62, 60. Probably 60, 60. Oh, probably 60 something. <laughs> I don't know. I would say it's like low 60s, and then by game time it's high 50s, 57 to 59. Windy. Game two of the three-game series, it's the Dodgers against the Giants from San Francisco. Well, these two ball clubs evenly matched. They came in last night with identical records. They played 11 innings. And for the Giants, they eked out a 3-2 victory. So the Dodgers find themselves one game out of first place as they get set to go tonight. And last night, it was a tough game. Teams did not do very well on both sides with runners in scoring position, but uh, I know the Dodgers hope that changes tonight. Yeah, they do. And you know what? They were looking for that come from behind win. They got it into extra innings. They just couldn't finish it off, whether it was the pitching or the defense with the air. They are going to play tight games the rest of the way. And we say, oh, the game is only worth one. Well, against these Giants, it's worth two. There is a sizable Dodger contingent inside Oracle Park tonight. Trey Turner. Of course, he uh, had that throwing error that uh, cost the Dodgers the game last night. They're going to fly ball to center field. It's deep. Back to the wall. And it is gone a home run straight away center field is 21st of the year and the Dodgers take a one to nothing lead 18 hours after losing by a toenail the Dodgers second baseman wastes no time in setting the tone for his team suggesting an aggressive attacking approach is tonight's key to victory when you see opportunities to be opportunistic it is important Trey creates tension Mookie creates tension so uh, those guys have the green light so whenever they feel that it makes sense to uh, push the envelope, they certainly have the freedom to do that, and, and it showed tonight. There goes Betts, and he is in with a head first slide. Responding to the tough extra inning loss last night, Dodgers are just taking this game so far right to the Giants. And now runners at second and third. And this one to left center and Slater makes the catch. Betts will tag and score to nothing Dodgers. And now A.J. Pollock. High ball, left center field. One hop high off the wall. In the score is Turner. Pollock delivers and the Dodgers take a three nothing lead. 
Well, the Dodgers scored two runs in 11 innings last night. They have scored three in the first two thirds of the first inning. Midway through the first inning, the boys in blue stake Julio Urias to a solid lead, an advantage he embraces to keep the giant bats off balance. 161 strikeouts on the season for Julio in a season in which he's had more work than any other. And the serenade strikeout. The bar has been raised for Julio. Belt strikes out. The expectation to win every time he takes the mound, being able to manage and navigate, minimize damage. Tonight he did that against a very good ball club. Rings up Bryant, strike three on appeal. This is where Julio has raised the bar for himself, and this is what we expect from him. Payoff pitch. And it's up in the air, playable, and Julio gets out of it. Urias more than does his job, holding San Francisco to a single run. And when manager Dave Roberts goes to the bullpen in the sixth, it answers with its familiar strong performance. Over three and a third innings, the relief arms allow just one hit and no walks to finish the job. Where we've kind of been in this little funk offensively to be able to prevent runs, and certainly with runners in scoring position, um, has been the key to the su success so far. Ruff breaks his bat, grounds to second. The game is over. The Dodgers win six to one. And the odd couple in the National League West once again reunited in the penthouse apartment. Each team now is 86 and 50. And there are but 26 games left in the regular season. And four weeks from tomorrow, the regular season comes to an end. Um. No one asked about first place, so uh, I just had to get this in that uh, the Dodgers have uh, first place ice cream. So uh, for all the Dodger employees, you're welcome. Thank you. I worked it in. <laughs> <laughs> Next, the Dodgers welcome one of the newest Lakers. Bruin to Bruin. What's up, man? All good? Welcome home. Yes, sir. Today at Dodger Stadium, the Dodgers and the Lakers are celebrating the world championships they won in 2020. One of the newer Lakers, nine-time All-Star and former MVP Russell Westbrook, is here to throw out the ceremonial first pitch. More meaningful to him than many, perhaps, as he grew up in L.A. County and played his college ball at UCLA. From childhood, the Dodgers have been his favorite baseball team. Bruin to Bruin. What's up, man? How you doing? All good? Welcome home. You're back. All right. Get that ring, man. You guys do it, then we do it. When we do it, then you guys do it. Right? I got to take a picture of my man. I got to take a picture here. It was good to meet him. He's very physical. Uh, he's a Bruin. He's back home. All right. Hey, thanks for coming out, man. Whatever you need, we got you. All right? All right, man. For me to spend some time with him and welcome him back home, I thought that was great. I look forward to him helping lead the uh, Lakers to a championship. Uh, if, if there's anything that you don't feel comfortable doing, you don't have to do it. How many do we got, champ? Just like three. Okay. So the first one is, Dodger uh, Dodgers fans, I can't hear you. Make some noise. Dodger fans, I can't hear you. Make some noise. Very nice. All right, the next one, it's too quiet in here. Y'all got to get loud. It's too quiet in here, Dodger fans. Make some noise. Get loud. Get loud. Cool. Two more. And then this next one, you're going to be like, like four. No, you said three. <laughs> All right, one more. There you go. One more. There you go. This one, this, a good one though. this is for our playoff run. It's the playoffs. Y'all got to get louder than that. It's the playoffs. Y'all got to be louder than that. Perfect. Appreciate you keeping me honest. 
There you go. Here you go. We gotta hold everybody accountable. Everybody got to get accountable. Yeah, yeah. It's almost like you're a professional athlete and you've done this a couple of times. Maybe once or twice. Yeah. In my life. Yo, what up, bro? Good, 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 yeah. man. Yeah, big man, bro. How you been? Yeah, good, man. Good. We'll be fun watching you this year, bro. Yeah, man. Uh, hey, Sue. Come on, man. Let's get a pick for him, bro. What's up, bro? There you go, man. Nice to meet you, too. Come on, bro. All right. Here we go. Max? Uh huh? Got you. Here we go. You know, he was only there for a short period of time, but, you know, I told him we were both in D.C. and now we're both, you know, out here in L.A., so it was a sign that, you know, it was meant to be out here. Thank you. Thank you. Love the way he plays the game, goes out there and leaves it all on the floor every single night. It's going to be fun watching him play in, in that Lakers uniform. Hell yeah, let's do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Get in the middle, get in the middle. Yeah, whatever, whatever. Let's go. Yeah. I got one with that. Yeah. guys. <laughs> yes, sir. No problem, man. Good luck, man. No problem, bro. Nice to meet you all, man. Pleasure, bro. Yes, sir. Nice to meet you. Yes, sir. Everything good, bro? No, I'm good. How you doing? What's up, Nate? I'm doing all right, man. I'm hey, doing all right. Doing all right? Good, man. Doing good. good. Hell yeah. Awesome. Good. I'll come and check you out this year. Please so. do. It's going to be yeah, fun. Yeah. I'm happy with it. You're good, man. It's going to be good. Good. Yes, sir, brother. Good luck, bro. Oh, thank you, brother. Nice to meet you. Thank you. My man. Appreciate you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Yes, sir. Thanks, Wes. He actually came in the locker room before the game, and it just so happened I was in the middle of a drug test, uh, so I didn't get to meet him in the locker room. And uh, getting the opportunity to catch him and say what's up and welcome him to LA was was pretty special. Obviously, a special day. Him coming back to LA, uh, signing with the Lakers. The Dodgers do a great job of, you know, recognizing our other local teams here. No. Throw out the ceremonial first pitch on Lakers Day is a new member of the Brooklyn Gold. Let's welcome Russell Westbrook. All right, Russell, it's your pitch. How small does that feel on you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tiny, huh? Is that what's going on? Exactly, <laughs> exactly. All right, brother. All right, brother. Thanks, brother. Good luck. I'll see you out on the floor. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Easy breezy. You did great. Easy breezy. Take it away, guys. What's up, everyone? All I want to tell you is time for Dodgers baseball. Let's go. On the next Backstage Dodgers. Even in the darkest days, he would hold me and say, you know, everything's going to be OK. She's going to be OK. A happy ending to a challenging year for the Pollock family.
Didn't think we were gonna get here for sure when we were in the NICU. <laughs> you came a long way, huh? It seemed like you just wanted to live there. 